Hello there you lovely people, I hope that you're safe and well. In this week's video I would like us to talk about building your confidence in speaking. Whether that is public speaking, whether that is just conversation starters with other people, or whether that's because you feel just socially awkward when it comes to, to communicating and speaking with other people. If this is a video for you, then please hit that like button and you're more than welcome to subscribe. I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers, so help me along the way. And that's supposedly what all people say on YouTube. I hate saying it, but I'm saying it for the sake of my school kids who always ask me to say it. So that's for them. So speaking can be really hard for some of us. And even though I may come across as a really confident speaker, that's only because I've put myself outside my comfort zone so many times. I will never forget a wedding where my best friend asked me to do a reading, a prayer. And not only did this, this particular prayer have really, really tough words, really big words in it, but I was genuinely, my knees were what felt like tapping one another because I was so nervous and you could hear it in my voice. But one thing that people admired, and this is the same for you, is that I did it. I did it. And it's only when we go out of our comfort zone that we can actually grow from it as well. So I've heard the best way to, to kind of describe this and to get this across to you is known as the five S's. And I think that this is brilliant. The first S is about the importance of slowing down. When we're nervous meeting new people or, or doing an event where we're speaking to, to more than one people or to kind of a class or, or even bigger than that, maybe to an assembly, it's the importance of slowing down. We tend to naturally want to speak fast when we're nervous because the faster we speak, the quicker it is over and done with. However, what often happens is that we come across so quick that we don't know where we're at. Sometimes we blush because we're not breathing, so we naturally just go bright red, which is a natural response, but it doesn't help when we're speaking so fast because we're not getting those breaths in between. So to be a more confident speaker, it's the importance of slowing down. The second S is about that, that importance of, of starting conversations. No matter how awkward you feel, Actually, it's the most important thing that you come across and you start those conversations. And hey, small talk is perfect, it works. And let's face it, people love talking about themselves. So even if it's about the weather, even if it's about, you know, how are you? Even if it's about kind of what are you doing this weekend? It's just about starting those conversations. Now, if you're known for being a, a quiet person, Sometimes what we get into the habit of is allowing other people to speak for us, which can often be family members, it can even be our friends even. But what we have to remember and to remind ourselves is that they're not always going to be there in situations and in events where they can speak for us. So sometimes what we need to do is we need to be really brave, really brave, and to just start those conversations. The third S is about seeking information. When we are in those conversations, it's about kind of finding out what to talk about. So those little threads of information that they're giving back to you, it's just kind of, of going from that and, and working on that conversation. Now, I want you to remember that you in your life, you've got experience, you will have experienced highs and lows, success and failure, that actually you have a great ability to contribute towards that conversation too. So don't think that you're boring and nobody wants to hear about your story, because they do. It's just maybe you never let them have the opportunity to. So it's just about kind of seeking that information and about feeding that conversation. And if you can just allow that conversation to flow, which trust me, takes practice, it takes time, will just allow you to come across as a more confident speaker. My fourth S is about, you're not gonna like this one, this is the most important one, is seeking opportunities to speak. So it's about having those, those opportunities where you yourself are putting yourself out there to, to kind of get outside your comfort zone. 
So for you, the biggest thing that might be a kind of unknown for you is to actually put your hand up in class and to actually speak out. Yes, there is a chance that you're going to get the answer wrong. But the best thing is that A, you've tried and B, you've shown your teacher that you're willing to try too. And you never know, you're thinking that you might get it wrong, but there's a real big chance that you might be getting it right too. It's also about when it does come to, to that speaking to other people or to kind of a group or even a class or an assembly, it's realising that it's from those opportunities, just like me at the church doing that, that reading, that prayer, is where we grow, is where we grow. And to do that, that is kind of just putting yourself out there. And the final S is something that we feel we shouldn't do when we're, when we're kind of in a conversation and we're wanting to come across as more confident, is to allow there to be silences. But they are, they're there, and it's okay to have them. You may feel that they're awkward. It's you that might just label them as awkward. But actually, they might be giving that person the opportunity to think. It might be giving the person the opportunity to reflect upon what they're going to ask you next. So it's about allowing those silences and embracing them, not being scared of them and not filling them with, with, with other conversation, but to just allow it, just allow it. So yes, they're the five S's and I feel that if you could just take at least one of those steps to kind of build on your confidence in speaking, and don't forget it's baby steps. Crikey, I wouldn't be where I am now if it wasn't for the experiences and the muck-ups that I've had along the way. So it's practice, 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 practice. And I promise you that it's such a great feeling when you have that confidence to come across as, as, as a good communicator. It's really good when it comes to interviews. It's really good when it comes to just having those conversations with adults as well as meeting new people. So I promise you, you won't regret working on your communication skills of, of being a confident speaker. Anyway, you take care and I look forward to doing a video next week. See you later, everybody. Bye.